Call the cops. Tonight we're having a presentation by an interactive theater group to raise awareness of about underage drinking here in our community of Fairfield and not the surrounding towns. Kid whose party gets out of control and has to call the police, or many times I should say, because they can't get the kids out of the house. They didn't plan on having alcohol brought in, and it gets spiraling, spiraling out of control. The chief and I are here to show support for the ward PTA in underage drinking and then to make the parents aware of what the penalties are if they should allow underage drinking at their house or if their kids should happen to get caught with alcohol in this uh, upcoming spring season. With graduation coming up and prom season, it's uh, important for us to get the word out that the police department isn't going to un tolerate underage drinking. And you say, hey, I'm being sued for a party that happened in my house by my 16 year old when I was out of town. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, a lot of times we are having a lot of success with our text-a-tip program where we are getting tips from parents or other students who become aware of parties that are occurring. You know, this, th these do happen like this, that, that even a small gathering turns into a large gathering pretty quickly. And we know that students still and, and teenagers and, and underage uh, individuals do party hop. They look for where the parties are going to be. So when they hear this, that's where they'll go. A lot of times what we're getting now is a few uh, anonymous tips, so we end up greeting the guests as they arrive. So that at least shuts down the liability on your part. You know, you know. Now the idea is to try to prevent that all over town because we do know that they, they hop from, from party to party. But uh, Lieutenant Morozak is one of our shift commanders, so he ultimately is in charge of a patrol in an eight-hour block of time, so he'd have a better understanding of what, what they're doing when they're getting there. Maybe. Kind of, when we get the phone call from the neighbor that, hey, there's cars parked on my street. Well, usually that means the party's on the next street. Because these kids are smart enough now, they don't park on the street that the party's on. So we have to go out and find the party. When our guys find the party, they have to let headquarters know so we can get enough manpower to the party initially to try to lock it down. Um, depending on what call volume, we want to lock the party down. And luckily, nowadays, everybody has cell phones. We lock them down, we put them in a room, we sit there with them until every one of you arrive and pick up your children. You should feel comfortable calling us and letting us know um, how we can do our job better. And, and I think that's what it is. You know, if we get 15, 100 calls saying, hey, this is prom weekend and this is what I hear, that's important to know. You know, the texting, everything. I, I hear it's going to be on this street. It might be on this street. You know, if we get it early enough, we'll send an officer to the house ahead of time. 